The following program is intended for mature audiences. So hi there. How you doing? Hello. Uh, are you enjoying your, the show at uh, Frater Hall? I've got a time. A lot of people have asked me why I don't tell any jokes in my show. The problem is, when I get to the punchline, instead of laughing, people like to go, ooh. <laughs> So I decided, well, you know, what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of telling jokes, I'm going to tell about a little bit about me or about people I know. I especially was thinking about my friend Lynn. Now, have you ever noticed how some people have these priorities in their lives, things that really matter, their job, their family, their car, but when it comes to their hygiene, they're like, eh, it's low priority, it doesn't really mean anything. And since he worked on an assembly line where there was nobody within like 10 feet in any direction, it, it really didn't matter that, uh, you know, he, he had this, you know. Anyway, you know, I've known Lynn for years. We tend to stand some distance apart when we talk. And uh, one day I came into work and I asked the guy that uh, works next to him, uh, have you seen Lynn? And he said, yeah, that's him right there. So I steadied my eyes and I looked, and sure enough, it was Lynn in a clean shirt, clean pants, new shoes, hair cut, beard trim. I walked over, I said, Lynn, what happened? I don't even recognize you. I said, are you getting married? Fuck, no, I ain't getting married. <laughs> this is Chicago. So I said, well, what happened? Uh, are you going to a funeral? <laughs> Nobody fucking died. I ain't going to no fucking funeral. I said, well, what is it? What's the reason? He said, well, I don't know. I'm kind of standing at the bus stop, you know. I'm just kind of fucking standing there minding my own fucking business. I don't know, my, my arm must have been, I don't know, kind of like that or something. I guess I had my fucking hand out. And the fucker standing next to me put the fucking quarter in my hand. I can't believe he did that. So I'm standing there at the bus stop with this fucking quarter in my hand and the fucker on the other side, he put the fucking quarter in my hand too! So I'm standing there and I said to these fuckers, I said, fuckers, I got a job! <laughs> so then I asked him, well, what did you do with the quarter? Did you give them back? He said, fuck no, I put those in my pocket. So that spurred me on to the shirt and get all washed up and everything. So I asked him, I said, well, what did your mother say? Well, you know, I come home and my mom takes one look at me and says, what the fuck? I said, what do you mean? She said, you got a girlfriend. He says, I ain't got no fucking girlfriend. She says, well, fuck, what happened? Are you going to a fucking funeral? I said, I ain't going to no fucking funeral. He says, well, what the fuck then? Why did you get so fucking cleaned up? He said, well, I told it. He says, well, fuck, I don't want to fucking think I don't have a job. And she says, well, then what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, Lynn has a job. And he loved that story. I told it one time at a party when he was there, and he's standing there right next to me. He goes, and that's exactly what happened. Those fuckers did exactly that. <laughs> anyway, how about another song? Are you ready for us to do another song? Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> 